Welcome to another edition of Highlander News. I'm Emma. And I'm Eric. Today we celebrate our 50th broadcast of Highlander News. We hope you enjoy it. After teaching 18 years at VCHS, Ms. Weger decided to try out a different job. Casey Peterson catches up with her to see what she's doing now. I am currently a full-time employee for the state. While teaching from home has many benefits, there are things she misses about in-school teaching. The people interaction. The students, particularly the senior class, because they were my last class, and um, the friendships at school. She has students that live as far as Kenya, Africa, and even some in Alaska. It's just from anywhere in the country, actually anywhere in the world. She still enjoys many of her favorite hobbies. I'm baking as usual and I also like to do some sewing like quiltings. With retirement came new upgrades. Remember this? This is my phone. Remember everybody? Flip phone? I've upgraded. Look it! I have a smartphone! Mrs. Weger shares some exciting news. In April I'm going to be a grandma. I'm very excited about that. It's the highlight. As some of you know from being in my class, I've always wanted to be a grandma. Reporting for Highlander News, this is Casey Peterson. The football team had great success in this first year of the co-op. Reporter Lindsay Nesky tackles a story. Oh, my favorite thing about football would be the team and the community supporting us. Uh, the lights on Friday. It's nothing like it. Uh, I'd say when we run like a wedge play up the middle. Um, always being in the bottom of the pile, you just get a lot of fun under there. Rituals, I show up pretty early. Just chill out, relax before the game. Uh, superstition, I wear the same socks every game. <laughs> and underwear. <laughs> I listen to tunes pretty much. Sang out, dance a little bit. Just chill out with the boys, you know. I just put my tunes on, blare them as loud as my ears will let them go. Uh, I always wear two red socks for every game. My dad has probably influenced me the most in my football career because he always pushes me to do my best. Probably just the upperclassmen, you know, watching them, what they do every day, you can't just pick it up and learn. The thing that contributed the most would probably be some of the BCN guys coming over, helping us out, filling some positions, and all of us working as a team. Probably just our teamwork and, you know, we got a good group of guys this year, a lot of, lot of size, so that's nice. <laughs> I'd say our success comes from the gel and the brotherhood that we all have. We all work hard, we work out a lot, we run, we do everything together, it's pretty fun, so I think that's just, it's, it's going out and watching out for your brother's back every <laughs> single night, so that's, how, that's what it is. I'd say uh, I'm more of a fan of offense because I know what I'm doing more and I like to score touchdowns. The Highlander football team went 7-4 and four this season and made playoffs for the first time in four years. It feels pretty special, especially since it's my last season, so, you know, last one, the best one. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Reporting for Highlander News, this is Lindsay Nesky. A number of steps had to be taken before Miko could become a Highlander. Reporter Vivi Lee leads you to the story. I had to ask if it was something that the district would even consider, and they said yes. I shared some articles of other schools who had puppies come in, and um, so I took an online handler's course on how to handle uh, therapy dogs, and then I also took a canine body language course, so you can kind of read like how they're feeling with how they're acting. That was very interesting. And then um, I had to follow the school district's animal policy. I um, asked for permission from Mrs. Brandt, I sent an email and letter out to parents, and then I had to include an opt-out form, so if anybody didn't want to have interactions with Miko, then they wouldn't have to. And I have a little crate in the back room where he'd have to go. Um, after that, he was able to come. Reporting for Highlander News, this is Vivi Lee. What does cats have for dessert? Nice ice cream. What do you call a skeleton that doesn't get up in the morning? Lazy bones. Why do you never take advice from a cashew? Because they're nuts. There are many classes in the school we don't know a lot about. Casey Peterson constructs a story about production tech class. Production tech is a class that um, 
we primarily use the wide format printer and we make banners and canvases and, and vinyl and that we cut out and um, um, it's, it's kind of it's designing and then printing. Production tech is more than just designing. Currently I have a group that is making decals to put on the bathroom stall doors. We're making Christmas canvases right now. So um, a lot of different things we could do. Production tech is more than just a class. I mean the main reason we're doing this is because you are learning um, 21st century skills that make you employable right out of high school. Whether or not you know how to design, production tech can be for anyone. Do it, it's so much fun. Whether or not you've done it before, you'll become better at it. Reporting for Highlander News, this is Casey Peterson. The iPads are seen throughout the school this year in grades 7 through 9. Reporter Eric Ingstead brings you the story. The iPads that kids in grades 7 through 9 have are not toys. They are used for educational purposes. The iPads are loaded with a standard set of apps designated to them by the teachers um, and administration. Uh, basically, anything that teachers think that they need to use in class we will load on them um, as a district. So um, I'm able to just uh, take an app request from a teacher um, from my laptop, blow it out to all 300 iPads. Some kids would rather have a laptop, not an iPad. But there are some reasons why iPads were the better choice. The reason that we chose iPads over laptops, well, a couple reasons. Obviously, cost. The, the main difference that you'll see in a mobile device versus a laptop is the keyboard. Um, up until this point, we really don't have a lot of uses for a keyboard. When we get into grades 9 through 12, there'll be a new iPad coming that has a keyboard attached to it. So there also will be keyboards that we could check out from the resource center, even mobile kiosks throughout the school, lunch rooms, work areas, resource centers, ILC rooms will all have a monitor, mouse, and keyboard that they can just uh, attach their iPad to. Most of the feedback that have been received is positive. The students in Washington Elementary, I know, love them. I worked a, I worked a lot at Washington Elementary last year on the, on the rolling out of the iPads, and that was a new and great thing. And those kids coming up to seventh grade, I know, treated it like second nature. That was just another tool that they used for learning. It wasn't a toy anymore. They kind of got all that settled and not out of their system. And so um, I, I know that they generally just love them. I, I know it makes learning different, and it makes expectations different in the classroom. So I hope that they enjoy them because it's a mobile learning tool that they're going to be using in their careers someday. Reporting for Highland News, this is Eric Ingstead. Now Emma Holland brings you to a game of Would You Rather. Would you rather see clearly when in water without hurting your eyes or have perfect vision in the dark? I would rather have perfect vision in the dark. Um, have perfect vision in the dark. Perfect vision in the dark. I, I can only imagine how many people I could scare with perfect vision in the dark. <laughs> perfect vision in the dark. Would you rather be Batman or be Superman? Oh, that's a tough one. I don't know. I'd kind of like to be Batman because he's a millionaire, but at the same time, it'd be pretty cool to be an alien but be accepted among the people. Superman. So he can fly. Superman. Um... I like to pretend I'm already Superman, so I'm pretty much halfway there. Batman, because my son loves Batman and he'd think I was really cool. Would you rather never eat pizza again or never eat sweets again? Uh, I would rather never eat sweets again. Yeah, I don't think I could give up pizza. That's just, I don't know. I couldn't do it. Never eat pizza, because I don't really like pizza. <gasps> oh, man. Uh, I would, <laughs> I think everybody knows I'd give up pizza first, but not without a fight. Probably never eat sweets again. Pizza's really good. Would you rather spend a day at Six Flags or spend a day at the beach? I would rather spend a day at the beach. Yeah, I like amusement parks, but the beach is just relaxing to me. That's where I'd want to be. At the beach, so I can go swimming and... I'm all about roller coasters and amusement parks, Six Flags all the way. At the beach, because then I could just sit and read all day. For Highliner News, this is Emma Holland. Thank you for joining us from Valley City High School for our 50th edition of Highliner News. I'm Eric. And I'm Emma.